whenever we are planning to go for a trip possibly in any other place in a state in a same country or in other foreign countries or if the police department the army they would like to go on some search operations or your business man and you are planning to expand your business so when you are planning to expand your business obviously you would possibly look for a probable prime good location so that you can get more business so for all these different examples you need to have some geographical data you need to have some geographical information so that you can work on it to make it possible so in the same way if i would like to ask you a question if your client or customer is possibly from sales and marketing department or they had given you the data from sales and marketing then they would like to see how much particular sales they have got from this region this location this city then what is the possible approach or the possible visuals that you will use in power bi hi i am m asif hussain from know how academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand what is the geographical information what are the different visuals in power bi which are related to the geographical data what is a map chart how to create a map chart what is a field map how to create a field map what is a shape map and how to create shape map in power bi so by the end of this video you could able to get a very clear idea and learn what are the different geographical visuals that we can use in power bi and how to create them so watch till the end my dear viewers if i would like to show you here i have a data set as you can see in this data set i i would like to show you the geographical data information so if you see that i have country i have city i have state i have postal code and i have region so 1 2 3 4 5 these five columns that we are seeing these are related to the geographical data country city state postal code and region so all these belong to the geographical information so which location that is geographical data which country that is a geographical data which city that is a geographical data which region that is a geographical data so when we would like to compare all these geographical informations then we can go and use the geographical visuals that we have it in our power bi so as we have seen the data now let us go and see what are the different visuals we have so as you can see in the build or in the visualization pane we have something called as a map we have field map we have shape map so these three are the different visuals which are related to show or to visualize the geographical information so if i would like to show you the first visual which is map chart in the name itself we have something called as map in the name itself we have something called as map it's a map okay the general map that we use it as google maps in our mobile phones you know we have the maps where uh, we want to see the location distance time which bus or which bus number i can opt how much time it will take if i would like to go on a bike on a car so the same uh, map visual that it shows us in our mobile phone this is also the same map chart now let us see how interesting it is in power bi when compared to the map chart that map that we have it in our mobile phones so if i would like to use the data fields here so in the location what i'm going to do i'm going to take the state okay as soon as i have taken the state my dear viewers you can see that understand understand the visual so you can see that you are getting some dots okay you are getting some blue bubbles across the across the country called united states am i right you are getting the blue bubbles across the country called united states so in this united states if you would like to see there are some bubbles which are related to the state information because i have chosen only state here 
Now the interesting point is if I zoom in, it will zoom in as much as it want and it will zoom out where it will show us the complete, complete world map. As you can see that it will show us the complete world map. Okay. So in this map chart, what we can do, we can just go through the complete map chart or else we can just focus on the uh, country that our business is completely based upon. So this is uh, the state information. Now, if you would like to add the exact latitude, exact longitude, that also you can add it. So if you have the information, but as of now, I do not have the specific latitude, specific longitude. So I'm just avoiding these two. Now we have something called as a bubble size. This is very important. We have something called as bubble size. As you can see that every single bubble that you are seeing here, it is same. It is same. There is no difference in it. So in order to make it different, so I would like to see which state is having bigger sales, maximum sales, which is lesser sales. So for that, I would like to go with the sales column in the bubble size. As soon as I have taken the sales column, you can see that the sizes of the bubbles have been increased and decreased as well, depending upon the maximum and minimum level of the sales that we have it. Okay, the bigger, the bigger, the bigger one and the smaller ones as you can see. So these are different. Now, it's very good. From, till here I can make that my visual is perfect okay so I would like to add some more feature in it okay so that is nothing but the legend so what I would like to do I would like to go and add region here okay now you can see the difference so what's happening here I would like to show how much sales I have got from which state and from which region so that's what it is there in this particular visual if I would like to zoom in zoom out okay if I would like to just go and show you the complete world map as yes, I can go and show it okay so this is possible this is possible now let us go and understand in one another way as I have cursor here as I have my mouse here I can go and zoom in and zoom out what if the case if my client or customer is weaving their uh, uh, map chart or the report in a tablet in a mobile phone or somewhere so they do not have the access of um, the cursor or the mouse or mouse so how should they zoom in and zoom out so for that we have some small settings so for this i will go to the formatting of the map visual so in this we have something called as map settings so in the map settings the style is road here so that i will make it to aerial if you would like to see this okay as you can see the difference you know it has changed if i would like to make it in a dark mode i can go it if i would like to go in a light mode i can go it or if i would like to go in a grayscale mode i can go it it is up to us whichever is possible for us to consider okay so now this is best i would like to go with the default one now here under the maps and settings we have something called as control okay when i have the option of zoom button okay so if i click on this zoom button you can see that we have got the plus and minus sign here okay so i'm just zooming in with this plus sign i'm just zooming out with this minus sign okay so this is the interesting setting so rest the same title the same um, uh, the Category labels, if you would like to add it, I can go and add it. See, as you can get the names here. Okay, so this also I can probably do that. Okay, so this is a map chart. This is a map chart. So now let's go and work on another map chart that we have it in Power BI. Okay, so that chart is nothing but the filled map. In the name itself, we have something called as a filled. It is filling up the location perspective. So I will click on this filled map chart. I'll click on this filled map chart. Now in the location, I'm going to take the state. I'm not changing anything, just you can observe. Okay, so we had legend. So in the legend, I can take region as we have take, I have took it in a map chart. Now, longitude, latitude information, I do not have it, but there is no bubble size option. As you can see, there is no bubble size option here. Directly we have two depths. Now, the point is that as you can see the filled map visual, as you can see the filled map visual, it is filling up the complete region. It is filling up the complete region. Yes, I can zoom in here also. I can zoom out here also. It is showing me the complete world map here also. It is same. But the point is that if I would like to see the information of the sales or the profit, or some other information 
using the sales or using the profit that i cannot do it in this particular visual because it is filling up the complete location it is filling up the complete region so in the normal map chart what it is happening is that i can go and point out the specific states specific city and i can go and uh, analyze the uh, sales or profit whatever the numerical data i would like to consider but in the field map that is not possible it is filling up the geographical data or the region that i have taken here so what if the case okay if i just remove the region here what if the case if i take sales okay if i take sales see this it is filling up it is filling up the data okay it is filling up okay here it is very easy to understand here it is filling up the data okay it is our choice whichever visual we would like to go and consider we can go and consider so this is filled map chart now what i'm going to do i'm going to choose the another visual we under map charts that we have it in power bi that is nothing but the shape map shape map in the name itself we have something called as a shape map shape it is only the shape okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take state here and in the legend i'm going to take region it is up to us whatever the information we want we can choose it and in the color saturation we have something called as color saturation here in the color saturation i'm going to take sales here okay i'm going to take sales so if you do not see always legend is an additional information you can keep it you cannot keep it it is up to you now you can see the difference i have removed the legend just i have considered the location and i have considered the color saturation so now if you see it here now if you see it here my dear viewers there is a dark point here there is little bit dark point here again the little bit so the color saturation the color is getting decreased when the maximum sales is there so it is getting increased when the maximum sales is there and it is getting decreased when the minimum sales is there so that is the color saturation now if you would like to see there is a no point of going and weaving the complete world map here it is only the shape of the country in which your data is in which your data is that you have to focus it here you cannot see canada you cannot see india you cannot see mexico you cannot see africa you cannot see anything here in the shape map you can only see the information what you have considered or what your data is all about okay so that is the shape map yes it is here you might have an option is it possible to add the zoom control option here let us go and see i'll go to the map settings as you can see i will click on zoom it we have auto zoom zoom on selection i will click on zoom on selection okay so now what is happening zoom on selection so it can you see that no because it is only the shape map the shape of the country that we are working on so if i would like to consider the difference between the difference between the three visuals so in this map chart this is the best possible chart that we can include it in our reports or dashboard for ease of understanding and the filled map chart it will not give it that much valuable insights as this map chart does and if you have the data of only one specific country or uh, uh, state then obviously the shape map is much more uh, suitable to work on it so that is the information that we have in this power bi to show or to visualize the geographical data using visual in power bi so in this video we have learned what is the geographical information what are the different types of charts we have in power bi related to geographical data what is a map chart what is a filled map chart what is a shape map chart and how to create them in power bi thank you for choosing now hub academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning